Welcome in, quick hitters. We have another quick hit spotlight, Zion Williamson. I finally got a chance to even speak on this situation. I remember when he was coming out of Duke. I had my friends coming up to me. But yeah, they coming up and they saying, man, have you heard of Zion Williamson? I'm like, yeah, I heard of him. Man, this is the greatest basketball player that's gonna ever come out of college. I'm like, really? Oh man, he's a freakist of nature. He can jump out of the building. He's nimble. He's quick. Uh, he's gonna be better than LeBron James coming out of college. And I'm like, well, LeBron James didn't come out of college. He came out of high school. But anyway, but yeah, this guy is gonna be great when he comes. I said, okay, we're gonna see. I said, okay, just wait until he gets to the NBA, and then we'll see it in. I said, there's a lot of players that came out of college, couldn't fit it in the NBA, just couldn't cut the mustard. So when he get there, then we'll evaluate it. Man, you know this guy has played maybe a little over 100 games in four years due to bad nutrition, can't put the cheeseburger down, can't close the pantry on the Twinkies, and now you got reports coming out they have a fetish for glitter girls and street thoughts. Zion Williamson, do you know you're blowing your opportunity? You got all these professional people in your corner making a whole lot of money. And you mean to tell me it's not one person in your corner that hasn't grabbed you by the collar, threw you up against the wall, busting the sheetrock, telling you to get it together. What are you doing? What are you thinking? You about to blow your whole opportunity. And now you're about to have a child. Do you think it's fair in about 15 to 20 years for that child to be answering questions? Do you think your father has a sex addiction? I don't think it's fair for her to answer those questions 15, 20 years from now. My advice to you, get it together. This season coming in, you're gonna have the ultimate spotlight on you. If you wear the wrong color gym socks to the game, they're gonna be thinking about getting rid of you. Let alone if you're not even healthy to play this season. You done lost all respect and confidence from that organization and from a whole lot of people. You do the wrong thing coming into this season, you're gonna find yourself on the outside looking in. Now, it might be a couple of teams that might take a chance on you, but other than that, you'll be lucky to get another chance to reinvent your lifestyle. This story is just crazy. All the hype, all the people coming up to me, talking about how great you're gonna be as soon as you get to the league. And this is what I was really talking about. It's a lot of factors being a great player or just being a player in the NBA that's gonna succeed anyway. And then you come in not even being available, basically your first four years. Yeah, so there's big questions. People are questioning if you even love basketball. Is that even your first priority? Cause it look like these glitter girls got your mind going crazy. Look here, mister. Get your lifestyle in order. You might be lucky to get another chance. And if you do, just grab it and run with it. Instead of all this other stuff that's going on, you're a hell of a talent. There's no doubt about that. But just like they say, if you're not available, it don't matter what kind of talent you got. You can't showcase it. So Zion, we gonna see coming in this season. But right now, it's a bad start. So me personally, I hope you get it together. I hope you have an opportunity to reinvent yourself, come in this year, and put all this behind you. Maybe you learned your lesson. Maybe something like this needed to happen. And it's all right to have fun if you want to have fun. But have smart fun. Don't have messages going all over the internet. Don't have glitter girls and street thoughts claiming they got your child. It's just not a good look. Clean yourself up, come back in this season. And I mean, you can't sneeze. You can't do anything. They're probably already marking the calendar on your trade day or just want to release you. But you have a chance to change that. And coming in this season, all eyes going to be on you. Quick hitters, y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Do you think his career is finished or you think he can reinvent himself coming in? this season. Y'all have a good day. Peace.